My name is Shine Unsal. I am the proud creator of Nourishine Technology, your Nourishine coach, ICF certified coach, and also ICF approved coach trainer. Are you ready to shine? Come on, it's the shiny one. You got this. If you wanna go collect. What are the ICF coaching skills? I get asked all the time. What are the coaching skills? How are they different from communication skills or mindset skills or leadership skills? There is a difference and there is also an overlap. In this video, I would love to talk to you about ICF coaching skills. ICF stands for International Coaching Federation. That federation is the institution who screens all the coaches in the world so that they all have the same quality standards, ethics, and core competencies. ICF has four categories, and in these four categories, you have a total of eight coaching skills. I'm going to start with the first one. The first core competency as a coach that you need to have, if you're a coach, you need to have this. Number one is foundation. Being able to create a strong foundation is the first category. And in this category, you need to have two skills, two coaching skills. One, ethics. You need to be able to demonstrate ethical practice. Whenever you work with a client, whenever you co-create a partnership with a client in a thought-provoking and creative process to maximize their potential, you need to go back and remember what your ethical responsibilities are. This is the most important core competency you need to have and apply as a coach. Number two in this category is demonstrating a coaching mindset. Even the word coaching mindset has in it. You need to have flexibility. You need to have an open, curious, and flexible mind so that you don't go judge your clients. Instead, you hold the space for them. You get to ask questions and together you move towards a solution in the future. Second category is called co-creating the relationship. And in this category, you need to have three skills. The first one is establishing and maintaining agreements. It's very important that as a professional coach, you need to have agreements when you work with your clients so that everybody is clear about their expectations, how the coaching session is going to go, how it is going to serve each other, and that way you manage expectations. The second skill you need to have in this category is called cultivating trust and safety. It's so important for you to create safety. If you know anything about amygdala, the part of your brain who is responsible to seek threat six times a second, you need to be able to establish that trust and safety so you don't create this unsafe environment when you're working with your clients. Your clients need to have safety working with you. And that is a big skill as a coach. The third skill you need to have in this category is maintaining presence. It's so important that you are focused, you are there in the now, you're not somewhere else in your mind thinking something else but you're literally listening, you are paying attention, and you are absolutely 100% committed to the relationship that you build with your client. Third category is communicating effectively. And in this third category, you need to have two skills. The first one is called listening actively. What does it mean? Listening is a deep skill and there are levels and levels of listening. When you listen actively, you also get to hear what they are not saying. And the second skill you need to have is being able to evoke awareness in your client. What I say in my Nourishine Technology language, you need to create Nourishine moments for your clients so that they elevate their consciousness, they become more aware of who they are, what they do, why they do it. And the fourth and the last category is called cultivating, learning, and growth. 
And the skill you need to have as a coach is that facilitation of the growth. What does that mean? Whatever you work on together with your client, it's a learning process. It's an integration to who they are. After your session with them, they are more. They're absolutely more with what they have explored, what they have discovered, and what they have learned. Now they are more so that they can achieve more. So those are the four categories and eight skills you need to have as a coach at the highest level, at the International Coaching Federation level. If you would love to learn more about coaching skills and how you can become an ICF certified world-class elite coach, please click the link below and find out more about my trainings where you get to learn NLP and get certified as a NeuroShine technology coach. And of course, if this video helped you, please share it with others and subscribe to my channel to become more and achieve more. Absolutely.